Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a neat review of the UDI 818A uh, Plus W model. Now, the 818A is an upgraded, it's supposed to be an upgraded version of uh, UDI, UDI's popular 818A, uh, which was a very good quadcopter. Lots of beginners used, uh, learned to fly with that. But it's an upgrade in name only, as it's a, actually a very different looking quadcopter. <laughs> just about everything on it is different from the 818A. Okay, uh, just a name only. Uh, again, a very different quadcopter. The only thing that's similar between the two is all the propellers are protected by these uh, propeller rings around them. But everything else about it is different in design. So let's go over that design first off. First off, you get a 720p HD camera that records directly to a micro SD card slot. It has a wide angled lens on it, 120 degrees I believe wide angled lens. And in addition to that, it is advertised with uh, some type of optical stabilization. Okay, I don't know if it actually uses optical image stabilization, but it's advertised as stabilized uh, video. And I've looked at, uh, I'd done a flight with this yesterday, and its video did seem to be stabilized somewhat. Um, it was, I didn't see any jello in the video, so it does have a good video camera. Um, with that camera, the camera is controlled via micro USD uh, cable between the quadcopter and the camera. The camera also does include a, a separate uh, FPV transmitter located up here. Um, it transmits using Wi-Fi. So, you know, it's a Wi-Fi FPV flyer in effect. Um, the battery is proprietary and along with the charger for it. Battery size is 1000 milliamp per hour, uh, 3.7 volt, or actually 7.4 volt, 1000 milliamp per hour LiPo battery. Okay, and additionally, again, all the propellers are pr protected by this ring here, and that's about it. Let's go over the controller. Okay, this is the UDI controller. It's a very simple controller. Um, these two buttons here are inoperative. However, this button here activates headless mode, and this button here is automatic takeoff and automatic landing. This is your uh, throttle, this is your yaw, this is your pitch, this is your roll. On the back of this, there are two additional buttons. This one here is your rates button for high and low, and this is your trim button. You press and hold that trim button, and if you want to uh, balance the quadcopter, you press and hold that button, then you push the uh, pitch roll stick in the opposite direction that the quadcopter is drifting and once it's trimmed then you let go of the button. That's how you operate that. Okay again this is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer. This is its holder. Um, I am concerned that uh, since the phone is so close to these antennas that there will create some interference between the controller along with the FPV interference from the controller to the Wi-Fi because both of them operate on 2.4 gigahertz. So we we'll probably see some interference. Uh, one other thing, this controller has telemetry. Um, it tells you when the quadcopter is reaching, uh, it's having a hard time picking up the signal from the controller, this will beep, give a single beep. And then you can, you when you hear that beep, you should bring the quadcopter back in closer to you. Uh, additionally, this will also beep uh, if there is uh, low battery power on the quadcopter. So that's about it, folks. Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. We'll start it up right now. Here is the on off button. You press that button there and hold it in for a couple seconds until the quadcopter lights start blinking. And put the quadcopter down on the ground and then connect it to the controller like so. And the first thing we're going to do is a quick test to let's see, does this motor start if you bring it down and out or down and inboard? Yeah, they do. Let's turn off the transmitter. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. So it will shut down within four seconds. So we don't need to worry about flyaways. And now I'm going to start up the app and we'll go right into its flight. This is the UDI RC Flying C app available on Google Play and iTunes. And Flying C is all one word. We're going to hit video recording right now. And we should be ready to go here, folks. Let's take it up and about and see how it performs. So starting its motors. And let's do automatic takeoff. Very smooth. Very smooth takeoff. And let's turn it around toward me. And we are recording. If you look closely, I'll bring it in close. But look on the front there, you'll see it has a blinking blue light on its camera. That lets you know it is recording. So we are recording. And let's go up. Slowly go up. And now again, this is mainly a camera bird. Um, it doesn't have a flip button, in effect, 
So don't expect this to be a uh, quadcopter for uh, acrobatics. It's not. It's not designed that way. It's not meant to be. I'm going up a little higher too. Showing its camera. In effect. You want to slow rotate. And it does nice slow rotates if you want to do slow pans. About the area. And then coming back down. Reducing throttle. Wi-Fi signal strength still shows good. And there I am. And let's bring it in closer. Most folks like to see these up close. So very stable. Very good flyer. Hands off. <laughs> let's see how there comes a little breeze pulling it pulling it backward. I'll let the breeze take it out. But it seems to be working very well as a camera bird. And that's what it's designed to be. And also, I guess, as a, a new pilot's uh, learn to fly quadcopter, it works relatively well for that, too. <laughs> Going to go right over my head there. All I'm doing is pushing forward on it. Very easy flyer. And it's meant to be. Okay, let's stop the video we got so far. I want to make sure I got that video recorded. Let's go to higher rate. Pressing the rate button. And let's see how fast it can go. Whoa. It kind of drops, but it can't move. It loses altitude when you go to high rate. That, But very smooth flyer. I got, I'll give you that. This is very smooth. Turning the camera back on again while we're flying. Camera's recording. Let's do that again. So yeah, this would be a great quadcopter for somebody learning to fly. A wonderful quadcopter actually for someone learning to fly. Let's go up higher, slowly, slowly climb as I'm going around. Now range. Okay, okay. I'm not seeing very good Wi-Fi right now. So <laughs> you gotta be careful that. Uh, you're going to lose Wi-Fi reception. As such, you know, as an FPV flyer, I wouldn't do it. Let's, in fact, let's try it. Let's see if I can get the signal back again. I lost signal from that, those gyrations there. And do I got signal back? Okay, I got signal back now. Let's go over in the shade and see if we can do fly, F, flying by FPV. I am going to look at the screen only and try to thread between the trees here. And I'll keep my can whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit of lag. And I lost it. <laughs> so FPV, I wouldn't depend on this for FPV reception. Not at all. But as a camera quadcopter, it's fantastic. <laughs> and as a learn to fly quadcopter, again, it's fantastic also. So look at the stability on this thing. And turning it back toward me. And doing a slow flyby. Let's try the headless mode. We were pointing in that direction. Is that still the headless mode direction? Yes, it is. And I'm going back to low rate because I want to do camera flying. And what I want to do is go up a little higher and pushing outboard. Doing a slow pan outward. Bye bye. <laughs> Pretty neat quadcopter, a neat camera quadcopter. A neat learn to fly quadcopter for new flyers. Going up a little higher and coming in. Hello. And since I'm in headless mode, Let's go out in the field a bit. Going to higher rate. I'm going out bond. Pretty cool quadcopter, I gotta say. I hope these videos coming out. Pull it back in again. And then panning by as it goes by me. 
with using the headless mode to do such. Just keeping it centered on me. I'm using headless mode. That's the big advantage of having headless mode, in my opinion, is to be able to do panning like this. <laughs> do your own circle me manually. <laughs> it can do it. Neat, neat, neat quadcopter. So, again, this is from UDI. This is a huge upgrade, actually, to their old 8 to 18. That just had a really poor camera on it, the old 8 to 18. Let me save that video. And let it fly back. Right about there. Point it toward me. Let's take a photo. Another photo. Another photo. <laughs> Another photo. <laughs> One more. Oh. So, okay, back to video. Well, it is a long flyer. I've been flying for quite some time here. Surprised how long a flyer it is. Just keep rotating the camera toward me. <laughs> Let's go back up again. And come out of headless mode. I think I'm out of headless mode. Yeah. Just get a view of the area. Right about there. Rotating. 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 And I'm going to come back down because it's flying into the sun. Coming down. And oh, I think we're running out of battery power now. Let me stop that video. Yeah, as the battery gets weak on this, I, I flew this yesterday, and I noticed as the battery gets weak on this particular quadcopter, let's hit that record one more time. Um, the altitude hold starts to become a little bit shaky and then it'll pop itself onto the ground. Hey, I'm going to land it real quick. Let's press that land button. What I want to do for the remainder of the flight with whatever battery power we got left here is I'm going to point the camera straight up like so. And then take off again. There I am, still recording. Let's stop the recording, actually, start the recording, and let's go up high while we got power. Mainly, I want to show the horizon. I, pointed, I was doing a lot of video of myself, <laughs> but I want to show the horizon. Let's do that rotate again around the area. It's nice and slow. Nice camera bird. Nice stable camera bird. And especially if this optical image stabilization is actually actually works on this, they're not lying. Be, let me get away from the before I hit the lights. Um, this would be a cool seller. What is that bird up there? Falcon? <laughs> well, hey, this is too big for a falcon to eat, so I don't have to worry about that. Nice slow flight about the area. Just showing the camera. Nice quadcopter. Oh, there's our power. Let me hit, stop the video. Oh, there we go. We're back in the air again. No, I don't see any blinking light. There we go. I think our, our flight is over, folks. We're just about over. <laughs> again, like I, as I mentioned, once the battery power on this gets low, it's stabilization, or it's uh, altitude hold starts to get a little screwy. There was a little bit of vortex rig state I was noticing there too, so hello there, let the wind blow it away. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, come back here. 
very stable quadcopter. Good learn to fly bird. So, and a long flyer. With that big 7.4 volt battery, this thing's flying for quite some time. I don't, do I have any blinking yet? Nope. I hope I'm still recording on my hat. <laughs> this thing's such a long flyer, folks. I'm worried that my hat is going, my hat camera is going to fail. Uh, and it probably will before the battery does. But uh, if it does, if my hat camera does go out before the battery fails on this, uh, I think you see it enough for it to make a judgment on this quadcopter. Again, it's um, altitude hold starts to uh, become less effective though. I did no do to notice that. Watch that push forward as the battery gets weak. See how it's descending? So keep that in mind folks. When you st start to see it, it descending like that, its battery is, is starting to get weak. So, okay, its battery is low. Hear it? It's time to land. Hear the uh, battery warning? So let's get back over its pad. See if I can make a nice landing on its pad. Landing. There we go. See? Telemetry. <laughs> You know, long distance telemetry, and let me stop that video, make sure we got it. And uh, low battery telemetry. So, all in all, let me turn this off too. All in all, I think this is a neat camera, folks. Pretty dang neat. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 with a UDI RC Traveler <laughs> uh, U818A upgrade model. I think it's actually worth it. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.